Hey Capricorn, what's going on? Welcome to my channel. It's good to see you, darlings. It is time for your October reading. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Let's both clear our energy. Deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Let's go. Capricorn, I'm hearing the word steak, and I feel like someone is quite literally looking at you like a piece of meat, like a steak. You are juicy to this person. They want to bite. Uh, I just heard job. Job. This could be somebody you work with, or you could be getting a new job offer completely out of left field. And I feel like it's because this person's really attracted to you, man or woman, doesn't matter. In prayer, Father God, Holy Spirit, ancestors, and guardian angels. Thank you for rising us up out of our beds this morning, and thank you for connecting me with the amazing Capricorn. Glory to the Most High, for we are nothing without you forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Spirit, I ask that you come through me, use me for the greatest and highest good of Capricorn, for their ultimate abundance, sustenance, healing, forgiveness, love, joy, and everything in between. What do we have coming in? releasing that anxiety a lot of burdens are, are washing away tower in the reverse yeah this is great there is about to be a massive amount of stress disappear i'm actually seeing waves hitting a beach and every time they come back they're pulling more sand away so i feel like this is a, an emotional absolving of some type i feel something is happening yeah ten of swords wow wow cap yes you're really about to be out of your head so much more by the end of this month i feel like you're really getting clarity on a lot of big stressors in your life this is something you've been praying for or asking for guidance for i'm also connecting with someone who's quite literally going to a mentor of some type to help them through these times and get advice on how to plan your life appropriately if you're not doing that i highly suggest you get a, a trusted source that is a good mentor that loves you for you unconditionally someone who's a little bit ahead of the game than you whether that's in age in their career they're married maybe you're not something to that magnitude there's something here about really linking up with some really solid mentors right now and i could have swore I had a card flip. Maybe not. Okay. What else is coming up for Capricorn? So we got this tower in reverse, nine of wands in the reverse, and ten of swords upright. So what is this tower in reverse? Please give me a little bit more. Ace of swords. Yeah, what I say about that clarity and moving forward. We got ace of swords and the chariot here. So uh, this could be involving a Cancerian that did not give to you previously that wants to give to you now doesn't have to be cancer this is someone who really wants to move forward with you this person is really uh i feel like they did not offer you something or did not provide you clarity and it really messed with your emotions capricorn i'm not quite sure leave me a comment if that resonates below but this is you okay this is you by the end of the month fully aligned in your energy king of pentacles here so I'm hearing prayers are being answered. Whatever your prayers, your biggest prayers are. I also see a lot of really good health here. I see a lot of positivity coming in. I just heard the word sandstone. You might want to get you some of that. Sandstone. Or someone is power washing like a brick patio or your house. You're power washing something. Power washing. Keyword power wash you are washing away anything that is dirty mildewy has stagnant energy okay so think of that you are power washing your soul at this time wow queen of pentacles look at this capricorn divine counterparts how about that okay this could be talking about a spouse or a partner of some type let's go a little bit further on this because this is now just switched to love here real quick so this could actually be if this is someone that you are currently in love with or dealing with in love this person did not offer to you and it really screwed with your emotions and i'm seeing it coming back around here capricorn okay so tell me more what's coming in for capricorn what's this king and queen of pentacles please thank you nine of cups wish fulfillment Woo, cap! look at all this yellow baby yeah look at it look at it look at it it's like a it's like a handful of gold Ooh, finances are coming your way big time too. 
I just heard, take a look at me, Lucky Charms. <laughs> you got someone who's really lucky in your life right now, Capricorn. I feel like you're, you're toggling off their energy. I don't know. It's really sweet and solid, like hella solid. Tell me more. What's going on for Capricorn? Wish fulfillment and love. So that's great news, Cap. If you've been at odds with somebody, I see that turning around here. Knight of Cups, I can't make it up. My cards don't lie, y'all. I love it. This person has a lot of emotion for you. This person, I feel like you give this person butterflies in whatever conversation is going to take place in October. Again, even if this has been a long-term partner you've been with for, for quite some time, or even if it's brand new, whoever this is is still like reigniting some type of passion and fuel for you. Queen of Wands, Two of Wands, Wheel of Fortune. And now this is a totally separate situation here and I'm gonna switch. So Love Department's looking phenomenal. You're really gonna get some good news here or if things have been on the outs with you and somebody, I see that absolutely turning around Capricorn, okay? So let's look into this Queen of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, Two of Pentacles. You're making a decision on a fire sign here. What is this? Capricorn, I feel like you're watching someone that you know really about to enter a major abundant time in their life and you're going to make a decision. You're somehow a part of the decision in this abundance that's coming in for this person. Tell me more. What is that? What does Capricorn have to do with this person that's about to receive abundance and why is there a decision? Six of Cups. This is someone who uh, I, I actually hear friendship. Okay, so this is someone you're friends with. You're going to see someone who you've had many years of friendship with, someone who you really, really trust is about to get some major rewards here, some really good karma. And this is someone you've had um, a lot of really good memories with. This is a very sweet energy. I'm seeing flowers here, obviously. I feel like maybe uh, that's like a really sweet, friendly thing. Like if one of you is sick, the other one will bring flowers or a really sweet card or a little gift. I feel like this is, it's just a really sweet friendship. This is platonic. I don't feel this is romantic. This is just like really good, solid friendship. This is the kind of friend you want in your life, Capricorn. So whoever this is, yeah, look at that. Six of Cups, Six of Pentacles. You and this person just vibe. It's it's a very trusted relationship and foundation. And there's Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> Cap, do not lose this friend, okay? I am telling you right now, whoever this Queen of Wands is, uh, I am feeling feminine energy. Whoever this person is, they are such good people for you. They know how to nourish your soul. They know how to do equal give and take. They have good communication. And again, you're about to watch this person get hella blessed and in turn, it's gonna bless you in some aspect. Okay, now I'm being told something else here. So I'm noticing the buildings in both of these artworks here. That's a tower. But again, up at the top, we have the tower reversed. And again, that was for a separate energy. But it's like this tower, maybe the two of you had a tower moment where some truth was found out or exposed or it was like a new level of growth between your friendship and it was a good tower maybe not in the moment it didn't feel like it but in the end it really was a good tower so we've got the tower here backing the ten of pentacles showing the solidi solidity solidity i say that right solidity <laughs> uh how solid this friendship is but more importantly there's just a lot of really good energy around it. I love it. So this person brings you good luck. You bring this person good luck. I, it's just so sweet. This is the type of friendship you, you dream of. Uh, you know, not everybody has good friends. All right, how many, how many people you had to cut out your life? Capricorn, because they ain't good friends, right? This person is a lifer. This is a lifelong friendship here we're talking about. And there's the 10 of wands. Yeah, so whatever this is, we got 10, 10. This cycle's going to close out. We got three tens, yo. 10, 10, 10. 30, you may be 30 years old, you may be about to turn 30 years old, uh, something may happen on October 30th, 1030, the day before Halloween here in the States, uh, but this is like a really good, if both of you have been going through like a rough patch individually, I feel like it's maybe even affected your friendship in some capacity, but that cycle is closing out for both of you, and you're both about to get some major abundance here, so let me go ahead, switch decks, yeah, incoming communication on that, uh, someone's been spying as well. Let's get some clarifiers. What else is coming in for Capricorn, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And again, if this is not your story, do not force it to fit. If you'd like to go a little bit further on a private one-on-one, -on -one, all the information is below. I am not a psychic. 
counselor, doctor, although my initials are MD. I like to say I'm a spiritual surgeon here at Capricorn, but I spit it the truth. I'm gifted. I'm a psychic and a medium. And more importantly, I, I have a lot of knowledge and wisdom. So if you want someone who's just uh, really going to be able to tap into some answers that you're looking for, I also am really good at uh, catching cheaters. <laughs> kind of a knack. I don't know. Uh, quite literally, I've had several clients find out that their spouse was cheating on them through my readings and file for divorce. I'm not kidding. Okay. So anyways, uh, the divine don't play. When you're, when you're marked, you're marked and you have a job when you work for God is to rat out these people who are not healthy for my people, you, my viewer, my, my sweet Capricorns, right? Ten of cups again. Damn. Ten of pentacles, ten of cups, Cap. Yes, this is, I am telling you right now, mark my words, Capricorn, come October 2024, your life is going to look completely different than what it looks like now. Mark my words, okay? I see this major shift coming in for you. So much emotional fulfillment that you have not had in a while, Capricorn. <laughs> okay, so I'm actually hearing a clip from the movie Dumb and Dumber where the blind little boy is going, pretty bird, pretty bird, and he's petting a bird, pretty bird. Someone may be calling you pretty this week, uh, but there's something really elegant about your communication that's coming in for you in October, and that's a really beautiful energy. And you know why? Because you're moving into this emotional fulfillment. So when you're emotionally fulfilled, you talk different, you act different, you operate differently, right, Capricorn? So uh, Pretty Bird, maybe you're watching the movie Dumb and Dumber. Maybe that's one of your favorite movies. I don't know. Tell me more. What's coming up for Capricorn, please? Thank you. There's a tower again, this time in the upright. Ruin in the reverse. Let's go, Cap. Let's go. Ooh, we're ringing it on that. Ruin in the reverse. This tower is a good one again. Two good towers. I know that's right. I love it. Okay, so what is this tower and ruin in the reverse? What's, not, what's getting unstuck? Something's getting majorly unstuck here for Capricorn. Knight of Discs in the reverse. Again. You had that up here in reverse. Whoa. Okay, Capricorn, this just got real deep real quick. Truce in the reverse. I am picking up on an energy that you have been dealing with for quite some time. Now, this could be a person, but it feels very dark and demonic. This is either a person or an energy that's been following you, trying to attach itself to you. That's going to be separate for several people. It's either one or the other. If, if you already know a person who I, is very similar to what I just described here, you have not been giving them any love or support or advisement. I don't know. This person is not to be rewarded with your presence in their life, Capricorn. Truce in the reverse. This person does not have any good intentions for you. Now, again, if this is not a person, this is... Achilles is looking out my, my bedroom door right now. He just literally opened it with his nose, peeked out, and then pushed it back closed with his nose. Interesting. Someone's been very nosy in your business lately. I feel like you're going to hear something that's going to piss you off. Capricorn, watch your energy when this happens. Back to the energy itself here. This is a really heavy energy that has been coming towards you. And it's not being successful in attaching itself to you. Take that as it resonates. If that resonates, Capricorn, leave me a message below. Because there's something here like... Knight of Swords in the reverse. You have not had clarity on this. I just heard the word guilty. You feel guilty about this. Spirit's telling me right now, I feel like someone just got, I feel like someone just grabbed my, my neck and choked me. Whoa. 
Okay, I don't know if you guys caught that. I felt like someone's trying to shut me up from talking right now about what I'm about to say. Capricorn, mark my words. Whatever this energy is, you are protected very, very, very much so. And the reason you have not had clarity is because even though all this has been going on like around you, you were meant to not have clarity so you could continue growing and learning and gaining more knowledge. Okay, so they say thank you for the troubles and the challenges and that negative energy, because as the devil in the deck, you are literally the devil card, which speaks to all different types of uh, things, not just the devil or, or that that connotation in and of itself. It's about uh, obsession. It's about oppression kind of clingy energy, soul contracts, brand new job contracts, something like that. Whatever this is, it was a test from the divine to see how you would handle this. And spirit saying it caused a lot of heartbreak. So if this really affected your mental health, please understand that cycle is almost over and i feel like this has been a very long cycle i'm seeing the number three at the top this could be have this could have impacted your mental health for literally like three years three months this has not been something that's been short term or this energy has been trying to attach itself to you for that long okay take it as it resonates give me some more on that i, I clear that energy i don't like that at all i don't like that at all and this is a demon slaying channel and you're a demon slayer capricorn so let's go we ain't got time for these mother lovers no demons come in all forms they'll attach themselves to human they'll attach themselves to situations they'll attach themselves to generational curses they'll attach themselves to any type of energy that maybe your parents had when you were born uh that transferred dna wise there's something really heavy here. I also feel like there's a family secret that's about to be exposed that you are unaware of. Tell me more about that. Why am I picking that up? The emperor. There is a high level patriarchal figure coming through here. And I feel like this is your father. I just got a notification on that. That's confirmed. I'm, I'm picking up energy with your father, whether... Your father is protecting you in some aspect, Capricorn. Mark my words, energetically and spiritually. Your father has hella protection over you, Capricorn. If you don't have a relationship with your father, that's none of my business. This may not be your reading, but the, the energy that I'm picking up here, this your father is very admired by you. I feel like your father is your hero. Your father has done a lot of work in the ethers to make sure you get these blessings and that you stay safe. Ooh, Cap. I love that. I love that for you. There's the sun. I can't make it up. Your dad's your hero. Whoever is watching this video that I'm connecting with today, mark my words, your dad's one of your heroes. And, and they've earned the right for me to even be able to say that. So, hey, kudos. Thank you to your father. And uh, you really need to, to say thank you, whether or not they're here in the 3D. Uh, yeah, this, this person was a critical part of your transformation. This person also literally could have saved your life. There's a death card. I just got chills. Woo, that's fat, Cap. Don't choke up, Cap. It's okay. This is happy news. It's okay. This, your father, whoever I'm connecting with, literally saved your life at some point. Uh, tell me more. I'll just drop that, of course. Hold on. Let's see if I can. This could have been when you were a teenager. There's something about when you were a teenager with your father. Yeah, there's the love. Oh, my God gosh it's so sweet capricorn and capricorn is fatherly patriarchal energy 101 y'all just encompass that so hell yes i love that for you so much so your pop's been dominating your protection whether he's here on earth or wherever in the ethers okay receive that your dad loves you so much capricorn okay please know that let's switch decks wrap it up final message we're gonna go to the angel oracle deck what spirit messages do we have from capricorn's angel team they're passed on loved ones they're ascended masters angel gang for capricorn come through me use me for grace and highest go to capricorn what messages do i need to relay as far as advice goes for october time is fluid take it as it resonates don't forget to like share subscribe capricorn i appreciate all of your love and support you've always been the top sign that watches all of my videos over the years and i appreciate you so much truly 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 thank you so much uh a lot of my friends are capricorns and y'all are just truly 
some of the most dedicated and loyal people okay so there's that tell me more final message for capricorn please that one okay patience you are entering a time of great love and peace be patient and allow the current storm to clear resurrection resurrection lazarus no more wounds only love predicted for the future my cards don't lie cap it's a done deal just kidding we had one more new direction okay what's the new direction cap let's find out life may seem like a whirlwind at the moment yet there is a divine order to the present circumstance what may appear as chaos is often the angelic forces of the universe at work uh, after the storm clears you will be steered in a new direction a time of renewed health love joy and abundance for you my friend amen amen all right cap that's all i got for you thank you so much for stopping by as always i appreciate you i hope you have a fantastic rest of your month if this resonated please leave me a comment i love reading your comments and if this is where you part ways my darling dears take care stay safe stay up stay focused bye